dear friends welcome back in this session we will understand how exactly we can go ahead with the k means clustering using the r it's very simple and easy to understand just follow my steps follow the instructions that i'm giving and you would be able to do it with ease so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the k means clustering to the data set called as the iris data set and we have been using it quite often but before I go on into it, let me tell you, I am going to copy the iris data set as the new iris and I am going to play around with the new iris data set because I am going to make changes. We cannot make the changes in the default data set which is available over there. So I have copied it and I am working on it. And now we will see the content of the new iris data set first. I am going to do that right now and when we display that, we will be able to understand what exactly are the content. You can see that we have got 150 observations of five variables and we have got sepal width, sepal length, uh, petal length and petal width followed by species. Now I want to make some modifications in this new iris data set. So what I am going to do is I am going to remove the species alone. I am going to remove the species completely and I am nullifying it. When I do this null, when I assign this null to the species of the new iris data set, I will be able to remove it completely. Now what I am going to do is I am going to show you how exactly it looks like after we completely remove this particular column. So can we run it? Yes, we can run it. You can see that now. Now we have removed that species. Species is here, but after running it, it's not here. After making it as null, it is not here. But still we have got the 150 observations of the four variables, which is nothing but the sepal length, sepal width, fetal length and fetal width are all here. Now what am I going to do? Very simple. I am going to apply the K means clustering to it. How do we apply it? Very simple. It's again one step, one line is sufficient for you to do that. KC is equal to, I mean, this is the way of assigning K means of the new iris and 3. The K value is kept as 3. We are applying the K means algorithm to the new iris and we are storing the result in KC. This KC is having the result right now and the cluster number is set to 3. We are setting the cluster number to 3. That's all. It's very simple to understand. Now, can we run it? Once we run it, we get a lot of observations. Understand one point, please. Whenever you go ahead with analysis, whenever you go ahead with running this kind of code, go for more amount of inferencing. You need to understand what exactly is the uh, data conveying you. What can you understand out of the results? That's more important than anything else. Can we go ahead and understand now how exactly things work? Here you can see that I have got three clusters and I have got the cluster means for sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. And I have got the clustering vector here and before that you can also get the size of the clusters. The three clusters are available and the size of the clusters are 62, 50 and 38 respectively. Then we got the cluster means. We have got the cluster means available for us and then we went to the cluster vector. What do you mean with this? Very simple. The first observation falls in which cluster? The second observation falls in which cluster? We have got three clusters. So each observation now is falling under certain cluster and that's what is summarized here. Also, we have got within cluster sum of squares by cluster. The data about the sum of squares is available here. The available components, the cluster, the centers, the dots, the withinness, all these are the content that you can understand through the k-means clustering that you have done. That's it. Very simple. What we have done? We have taken a data set. We have removed the unnecessary things or the things that we do not want. And then we applied the k-means to it with specifying number of clusters. Once we ran it, we got the size of the clusters followed by the cluster means followed by the vector. And finally, we got the sum of squares by the cluster as well. All these are simple and we have done that. Now, what next? I am going to compare the species label with the clustering result. What do you mean by that, sir? Very simple. I'm going to make a table so that things can look really easy for me to understand and analyze. You can see that here I have got three clusters available here. Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica are all available. You can see that this is all mapped properly. Here there is a mild miss 48 and 2. 2 went to a different cluster. But in Virginica, we have got 14 and 36. These two are in two different clusters. So will not be definitely right. This is not a good result. So this is an understanding for you to know if the clustering has happened in the way it has to happen, is it appreciable? Now, what is the next thing, sir? The next thing is going to be very, very simple. I am going to plot the clusters and their centers. We are going to take up the sepal length and the sepal width and I am going to plot it. Very simple. Only the first two dimensions are used to plot here and we actually have four dimensions, but we are going to go ahead with the two. I mean, I'm going to plot only the sepal length and the sepal width. Now you can see that I have used the plot, uh, new iris, C, sepal length, sepal width, 
COL equal to KC of KC dollar cluster and then I am specifying the parameters as requested and once I run it you could see that I have got the results here. So this is the clustering picture, clustering result that you have got in the graphical representation. The plot is available here. You can see that the stars represent the cluster. This is a star, this is a star, this is a star. And this cluster is grouped kind of perfectly, only one has spilled out. But in this you can see that there are a lot of misgrouping which has happened. The green things have come here and here you can see that there is some more mismatch. So overall if you see that I have simply taken a data set. I applied k-means clustering to it, I made it a table, the results, is, results are summarized as a table and then I plotted it. This is how you can use the k-means clustering through the R studio through simple R programming. For your view, I have zoomed the plot and I hope you can understand things better through this observation. If you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section, I will be happy to answer. If you like the channel and the content, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you.